Hey there, so I want to go over a cool tool that I just learned about but has apparently been around for a little while called Flippity. Um, I've called this Flipping for Google because it is a Google application. It's actually an add-on that you would use for um, ex for, for Google Sheets, which is kind of Google's version of Excel. So basically what you can do with this is you can take a Google spreadsheet and you can turn it into say a Jeopardy game or online flashcards or some other things. They have various templates that you can use. So just to show you an example of one, this is one that was created and I don't know if you've ever created one of those Jeopardy games using PowerPoint, but there's templates you can download and they take forever because you know it's like 90 slides long and, and you got to go to all the different slides and type in all your information in text boxes. It's very to me, it's just very tedious. Well, this is created using a Google Sheet very quickly. Um, it's already set up with questions and categories, and you just basically have to go ahead and change those. When you play the game, you can click on a question, and then, of course, it'll show the question. You click again, it will show the answer. And then if you've got teams playing, you can choose to award points. So I can say that team one gets it. Or if you want to allow multiple teams to score, then you can score two points. Or if you want someone to lose points because they answer it out of turn, you can give them an X. And there's sound effects that are affiliated with those. Now, when you click again, it returns to the game board. The question is gone and the point values are there, which is cool because PowerPoint never had an option where you could see the point values. The other cool thing is that you can incorporate videos. Now, I didn't add this one. This was in the template. But when I click on this one, I can uh, play this embedded YouTube video. So this just kind of opened to me lots of ideas where you could um, incorporate a video into some sort of a review or even maybe as an introduction to a topic rather than a review for a test, for example. Uh, and then, of course, you can, you can pause that question and do the answer, award your points, and then return back. So pretty neat stuff. You can also insert images, and this is all done based on links. I'll show you how in a moment. Um, so here you can insert an image and then, of course, award your points and so forth. All right, so enough about what it looks like here. Let's look and see what it looks like to create the sheet. Um, in your Google Drive, you're going to create a new spreadsheet. So that's Google's version of Excel, you might say. So new Google Sheets. And uh, when you do that, you're going to have to make sure that you have the Flippity add-on. Now, I already have it because I've already installed the add-on, but if you don't, you would go to your add-ons menu. And instead of going to Flippity, which I'm going to go to, you would go to Get Add-ons. You would search for Flippity, and it has two Ps, Flippity, like so, and there it would be. Mine says Manage, but yours, you would, you would add that in. So since I already have it, I'm going to go to Add-ons and Flippity, and you're going to choose a template, and there are various ones to choose from. There's really only three that I've used, to be honest, um, and those three are pretty good. Uh, Flippity Flashcards, which is one that I have used. Flippity Quiz Show, which is the one that I just showed you. Um, and then there are others. There's Flippity Crossword, Flippity Bingo, Hangman, Spelling Words, and then Random Name Picker, which is another one that I like that's really easy to use. So with the Name Picker, for example, you just click Use. It builds your template. It's going to go ahead and pre-populate it with examples. And then all you have to do is change it. Um, they provide you with a URL, which is given to you right here, which you can, of course, copy and paste so you've got it ready. Um, or if you forgot to write that down or copy it or whatever, you can go up to add-ons and flippity and then right there is the URL instead of adding a template there. So simply you would just go through and type in your people instead of their people. And if you have fewer, then you just put fewer in there. It doesn't matter. Um, when you're finished, give it a name, of course. And then you're simply going to go to that URL. So I'll open up a tab, paste and go. And there it is. And what's cool is, you know, if you needed to have people to just, you know, one single name pop up, you can go here. If you wanted them in a certain order, maybe you were going to do the order that they were going to have to present in or something, then that would be there. And that's based on that single name order. You can quickly assign them groups of two, groups of three, groups of four, or however that works. And if you don't like, you know, John and Dustin being together, simply just press the shuffle button there and you can shuffle through those. So quite simple um, to set those up. Um, there's also a seating chart. I've never actually used this part other than just to play with it. Um, but you just add your rows and columns, and then, again, it will randomly shuffle. And I didn't find a way to, um, well, I guess you can click and move them, you know, this way. So you could position them, but you can't, like, customize the way they look. Like, I have an aisle in my room, and I can't show the aisle on here. 
All right, so that's the random name picker. Let me show you how the quiz show works because that's the one that intrigues me the most. Um, again, you're going to go to new and you'll create that. Now, I've already got one created, so I'm just going to open it up because the process is pretty simple. Um, so again, you would have created a new one, gone to add-ons, um, and then went ahead and picked your template, the quiz show template. Uh, you can see it's set up just like this. So I changed all of these two categories because I'm going to use it for an activity. Um, I haven't changed these. So it would come in just like this. Uh, notice that if you wanted to use a video, you just take the YouTube URL and you put it in the square brackets, two square brackets on each side of it. So that's really all you do. Now with images, it's a little more complicated. You don't paste an image in here. You actually do have to have the image URL. And, and this is something I didn't realize at first, you have to have the word image and a colon in front of it. So not just the brackets like you do for a video, but also the word image and a colon. Um, so if you're searching for an image, if you're you know on Google and you're looking for an image, say I want I have an image of a dog, when you find the dog that you want, uh, you need to go to view image. And then this long address, which will end in JPEG or something most of the time, Oh, I don't know if this one will work because it doesn't end in that. But typically, you're going to have those types of things. That's what you're going to copy and paste in there. We'll just try it. Um, so once we come in here, if I wanted to use that, this is about bees and not a dog, but that's okay. Um, I would put in my brackets. So square bracket, square bracket, image, colon, paste it in, and then the other two square brackets. And I'm really thinking this isn't going to work because it doesn't look like it's in the right format. So I'm going to refresh here to start my game over again. Oh, there it is. And there's my little dog. So um, not too complicated. You just have to make sure that you have the direct image link in there because you can't paste in actual pictures. Um, but really, that's essentially it. And then, like I said, you just go up to add-ons and flippity and then grab that URL, which you can then share. Um, the other one that's kind of cool on here is flashcards. Not near as cool as uh, like Study Stack, which is another flashcard one that I really like. Um, but with the flashcards, there are some additional things that you can that you can use other than the flashcards. So you can take your flashcards and use them for, say, a crossword puzzle. So if I go in here and pick the flashcards template, which is the first template that comes up. Um, right here, you click use. You could click demo if you just wanted to see what they look like without actually going through the process. Flashcards gets kind of, I mean, there's a, like a lot here, um, but it has like audio built in and, and lots of other cool features. So I'm going to go ahead and click this so it's ready. All right. And so you can see over here with flashcards, same situation. We can put um, pictures, but it's different in this one. You actually do just paste in the picture address in here. Um, and same thing with YouTube videos. You just paste in the address. You don't have to put brackets or anything around it in this one. And you put side one and side two. You can choose your card color and your text color and that sort of thing. I'm just going to use their example so you can see what it looks like. So, I mean, it's just your standard flashcards, and it can read them out loud. Um, and you can have a list. So they can see them side by side. Um, again, because you can have pictures, that's kind of neat, or videos. Uh, there is a practice where they can type in the answers. Matching is really the only one I kind of like because it reminds me of Sporkle, and the kids like to play that sometimes where you have to pick the two and they disappear. I don't know really the purpose of the word cloud one, but when you go to more, you can send these words and use it for a flippity bingo game or for a crossword puzzle or for a hangman, or you could even let them print um, like a fill in the blank or a matching or whatever. So I'll just say like half and half and generate a printable quiz. Doesn't give you an answer key, but um, if somebody just needed something, you needed to send it home so they could review or they wanted to print it themselves as a review, then that's an option. So there you have it. That is uh, flipping for Google using Flippity. And uh, I think Flippity is a really good tool that you could use as a teacher, um, but also something that if you're one-to-one -one students could use as well for review.